Hi there! This is Bridget from The Planner Speechy. Welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be planning for the third week of September and actually technically it's the fourth week. <laughs> That's okay. And I'm going to be doing something very different than I usually do. I'm going to be Franken planning, which is when I take a bunch of stickers from kits that I've used previously, stickers that I've collected, and sort of make my own kit uh, without giving credit to exactly one place. But uh, this is a very special week because it happens to be my husband's birthday week. So back, back, back in the day, I had some special full-size stickers printed up that I'm going to use today. So this is our cat, Vinny. Vinny is actually sitting directly next to me, and I'm just gonna really quick move the video just so you can see him. That's our baby. There he is. He's so beautiful. Say hi, Vinny. He just got back from the vet. He had a very stressful day, so I'm really happy that he's here to <laughs> help me film this. Yes, he's such a good boy. He's my baby. So today, I'm going to be using stickers featuring photos of my husband and Vinny. So that's this top row here and this row here. Now I did have these printed from Erin Condren. It was a, a service that they do and you can just upload whatever photos you want and they will print them for you. Obviously I'm not super big on endorsing Erin Condren right now, but there are lots of places and companies that do this. You can also do this yourself using a laser printer. Uh, I do think it's kind of fun just to take photos from your own life and make them part of planning for your week. So I love this one in particular. We call this one the engagement shot <laughs> because it looks like uh, they're posing for engagement photos, but it was just me taking a picture of them at our kitchen table. So I'm going to use these these full boxes here. These I was actually going to save for another thing, but uh, again, you can see how simple this was. I actually ordered these in April of this year, so I had no idea what the world was going to look like back then, but here we go. So I'll just go through briefly some of the stickers that I'm going to use before I tear them apart. This is Charlotte's Paper Company's foiled date dots. I had them printed on white paper, but you can have them printed on translucent stickers. And it came with four months worth of date dots. So I have them now in gold, silver, and rose gold. So I am fully covered for any foiled uh, week that I want. I did decide to go with a gold theme for this week for, for any of the foiling. I'm going to be using these blue sheets from rose colored days. These are technically winter colors, but I don't care. Uh, my husband's favorite color is blue, so I decided to go with the blue. Last week I did this kit from The Beautiful Mess. This was a rainy day autumn kit. And I actually have a ton of stuff left over, including many functional stickers. So I'm just going to incorporate the stickers that I didn't use last week into this week and including some full boxes here and some script stickers here, and some check checklist boxes. So hopefully this will cover all of my bases. And then I thought to pull, I'm going to pull in a bunch of different things, but this is um, a sheet that I didn't finish from last year. This is Pumpkin Paper Co. Uh, Happy Fall with Boxes. This sheet is now available in her shop again. And then I just, I ordered some stuff from Fox and Pip and I hadn't, I hadn't used it yet. So I'm going to use this for the birthday. I just thought these were fun. And then I'll definitely be using these for some of my classes. And then <laughs> I had these made, these kind of look like my husband. So I'm going to be using that. For the bottom washi, I'm using actual washi tape and not washi strips. These are two fall uh, tapes from Simply Gilded. I got them on sale. They recently had all of the washi tapes from a kit called Cozy and Crisp last year. So I actually have all of them now, but I just, I'm going to use, feature these two. I just think this one is so cool with the wood grain and it's rose gold, but I don't care. This is a mix of orange, copper, and 
champagne gold, so I'm just gonna use them all, use them both. I'm going to flip to my, this is my current month. I'm still sort of filling out the memory stuff. I noticed that this is the first day of fall this week on Tuesday, and it definitely feels like fall today here in New York. This is last week's spread. Again, still filling stuff out. We took Vinny to the vet today. He did very, very well. So cute right now. So this is, I'm planning for, this is the last week in September in this particular planner, and then it changes to October. With I started filling out October. These are, these are bats <laughs> for the date dots. So I'm gonna be doing this right now, and uh, I'm just gonna speed things along and come back to you in a voiceover. Okay, so you're gonna see me do a lot of moving around because I didn't have all of my stickers in one place. I basically had to try and get everything together as much as possible, pulling from lots of different sheets. And I had to white out a lot of the bottom because while well, Simply Gilded Tape is really beautiful, it doesn't, it's very thin, uh, which is, I think, how they, she can get so much design on there. But as a result, you really have to um, clip a lot of things. And I apologize because, once again, some of these things are out of, out of focus or I had the camera at the wrong angle, so... What I love about this bottom washi tape is that it's actually a wood grain uh, tape, but it has an overlay of different wood grain in rose gold. So you have this multi-layer of wood, which is really, really pretty. And I, I'm glad I got to use it this way. It really, really is beautiful, um, and it makes me rethink all of the washi strips that come with my kit because I actually like the washi tape I have and I don't use it enough. So I just went ahead and started putting on these date dots and I ended up using the tweezers that I got from the Charlotte's Paper Company planner box and I found it to be really useful especially because these are so tiny and prying them off the sticker sheet wasn't easy. So I opted for the blue, the sort of denim looking blue. I thought it would work really well. And then I decided to alternate the glitter headers from the previous kit. And uh, it looks a little muted on this screen, but it was actually bright red and bright gold. So I jumped from one to the next because I could. I just had the stickers and I think it actually came out really well. So I went ahead and, and started to lay down the date dots. There were lots of holidays happening this week, so I had to make sure that I was fully covering the text because we had um, International Day of Peace, and then it was the first day of autumn, and then there was something else happening on Sunday. I'm not even sure what it was because I covered it up. But I like the way this came out. So those are um, date stickers from Rose Colored Days. So I decided to lay down the pictures. I think that came out really, really well. It's too bad the filter on my screen isn't more vibrant because these pictures do look much better in real life. So that's a sticker sheet from Chic Blossom Prints. That's from an older southern kit that I had. It just happened to be gold. Now I'm pulling in the weekly tracker. You can see the light was changing in my living room. I filmed this in the afternoon around 3.30. So the light will go in and out, and I apologize for that. I don't have a, a ring light like many YouTubers do. So I opted to fill in using these decorative pumpkin headers from this kit, and I actually really love how the way this looks. I finally sort of understand how decorative headers work, because if you use the same ones throughout, you can actually stretch the image almost as if the stickers are overlaid on top of this long image and it makes total sense and I love the way that looks. So I'm going to try and do that again with future kits because I do have a lot of those decorative stickers. That's actually, I had to trim a checklist from last week and I had that extra flag which was perfect because 
it marked seven days worth of stickers. So you're going to hear these long pauses where I'm flipping through, trying furiously to find the right sticker. So I hadn't pulled it out ahead of time. And uh, I eventually find it. But <laughs> it just takes longer. So then, oop, and I lost some video there. So you can see I laid down all of the other tool boxes and I put those decorative pumpkin headers down at the bottom. But here we go. So laying down the today stickers that I had. And I love this picture of Vinny looking at the pumpkin. We call this one the Vinny the Grumpkin Loves His Pumpkin picture. I want to get it blown up into a canvas square for our kitchen table. <laughs> so I'm just filling out the tracker there. I had three priority stickers. That's a quiz sticker from, oh my gosh, something Frenchy Boutique. I have had that sticker for such a long time. So I have an exam, but my professor was calling it a quiz, so that's why I put the quiz sticker down, because I had more of those from previous semesters. I have one evening class on Monday, so that's the, the class sticker from, she, from Charlotte's Paper Company that's there at the bottom. It's from the kit from last week. So within the span of just a couple of minutes, I've already utilized stickers from four different shops. And I think this goes to show the variety of things you'll need during your week. So those are from the previous kit. I have a, a dinner tracker and a TV tracker. We usually watch TV as we eat at our coffee table. <laughs> and we've been watching lots of things recently. but. We just started watching Bob's Burgers for the first time, so we're enjoying that a lot. I do have another evening class on Tuesday. That's my speech and swallowing for the medically complex child elective, which is only seven weeks long, but I'm really enjoying it so far. And then I just wanted to use, that's a pumpkin paper co-sticker, and I wanted to mark that it was the first day of fall, which is also why I put the pumpkin <laughs> image there. And I'm just trying to figure out, I'm using the clinical stickers for the very first time. I finally got a clinical placement after six months of waiting. Those stickers are from Twin Mermaids. So I just went ahead and marked down the hours. I'm not 100% sure what my full hours are this week, so I just marked the entire day. Uh, I think we still have to split them up because I'm sharing... A supervisor with someone else from my cohort who's super nice and the both of us need a lot of hours but I'll be doing my first solo treatment on Tuesday because I've just been sort of co-treating at the moment with my supervisor so now I'm going to be doing one all by myself which is very exciting I have a couple of cross stitch patterns that I'm working on right now. I'm doing one birth announcement for my friend who had her baby in January, so I'm a little behind. And then I also am doing a Halloween one for a friend, just because it's fun. So I have to give Vinny his meds. He has some acne on his chin. Poor little baby. So I didn't even know cats could get acne. He's like Benjamin Buttoning. I do have more simu case that I'm getting in addition to my clinical hours, so I'm trying to get as many hours as I possibly can. So basically what I've been doing is relaxing in the morning and prepping for clinicals. Then I have clinicals until 3.30. Then I take a break and I do more hours on simu case. I do some asynchronous materials and I study for other things. So by the time 5 o'clock rolls around and my husband's ready to stop working and we have dinner. I am really tired, but it's a good kind of tired and I appreciate that. You can't see what I'm doing because the camera cut it off, but I'm just marking in Wednesday morning coffee and cross stitch session. These are, I have three different speech therapy stickers from Twin Mermaids, so I'm trying to sort of mix up the clinicals with the speech therapy. It's not my speech therapy, it's the speech therapy I'm giving. And again, I'm not 100% sure what my schedule is really going to look like on those days, so I'll alter them as needed, but I was just trying to block off the time. 
Wednesday is going to be a big school day for me because I have a lot of things that are happening. I want to prep for Frank's birthday and I want to make sure that I have everything ready to go for the end of the week. So I'm going to pull in a long checklist sticker from the kit and I'm going to use every single space for different things. But yeah, there's a lot, there's just a lot happening on Wednesday, a lot of prep. And I also wanted to make sure that for a second I thought that I this was the week that I was doing my book club, and it's actually next week, but I do have to read the book for the book club. So I'm hosting a book club for our cohort, for everyone in the program actually, it doesn't matter if you're in the cohort or not. And the book club, we're reading The Diving Bell and the Butterfly, which is a very short but very poignant book written by someone who has what's called locked-in syndrome, where they can't move or speak on their own. The only control this gentleman has is to move his eyes. And so by using a letter board and a speech therapist, he was able to transcribe a book about his life and his experiences. So the book is naturally very, very short. It's There's also a movie based off of this book, but wow, I lost a lot of film. My computer, not my computer, sorry, my phone kept overheating. And when that happened, it wouldn't tell me that it was overheating. It would just stop. So there's some footage missing there. But those are some Fox and Pip stickers right at the bottom. And I'm just marking in that the 24th is Frank's birthday. Hooray! And I put those celebratory stickers in at the bottom of me and him. I'm just whiting out the lines because I'm trying to fill those up. Got a full checklist box there. And I have sort of my priority tasks for the day. I have to make sure to pick up the cake, although at this point I might be getting it delivered. We'll see. I have to do some simu case and I have to study for my exam the following day. But I'm just marking in that I have the exam. I think that's the Frenchy Boutique sticker again. So that's my hearing loss rehabilitation class on Friday. So Friday is the only day that I don't have clinical, at least until the mid-October. Then I might go back to clinical, but we'll see. So I'm just writing in um, dinner and dessert with the Modicas. We live above our in-laws. So that's the nice one nice aspect of quarantine is that we can still do family celebrations. It looks that speech bubble is so funny because it looks like Frank is saying speech therapy, <laughs> which I didn't intend to happen. But that's a laptop bow sticker from Chic Blossom Prints. And the speech therapy bubble sticker is from Twin Mermaids. So that's my last full day. I put in a 15 minute tidy sticker at the bottom there. That was from the kit. I think that's a very clever sticker to have. It's something I wish I had a full sheet of because I do think it's important to take 15 minutes just to clean up your space, especially with me taking all of my clinicals and my classwork at the kitchen table. The kitchen table has become kind of our, I don't know if this is the case for everyone else, it's kind of where we dr we drop everything, our mail, our packages, um, any anything that's also coming out. So uh, recycling gets held there, and it's just a lot. So I just marked up at the top pumpkin pancakes on Sunday, and then on Friday after my exam, I'm going to go meet my mom in Brooklyn, and we're going to go to Trader Joe's because she actually hasn't been in six months, and I wanted to help her shop. Just wanted to remind myself to upload my hours to Calypso, something I should be doing every day, but uh, I'm going to try and start with at least the weekly and then see what happens next. I put in this Zoom thing, which I talked to my husband about later. We're actually not going to do that, so I might do a different Zoom. I, I have like a couple of ongoing Zoom nights on Friday night just to sort of have fun at the end of the week something to look forward to. So instead of Zooming 
with Frank's friends. I'll probably Zoom with other people. And I like to do an afternoon Zoom on Saturdays with a different friend just to catch up and uh, just making sure to note that I'm going to need to do some lesson planning for the week on Sunday. I won't know exactly what that looks like until I see my ca the caseload we're working with this week. But So I also have a topic proposal due on Sunday night for a presentation for my class. And I have to start thinking about that a little bit sooner than the 25th, really, but it's definitely something I should have a draft of, at least by Friday. And just trying to make sure that I'm taking walks now that the weather is so perfect. It's that beautiful, cool, crisp weather that I love. And in New York, we only get it for a couple of weeks, and then it becomes really, really cold really, really quickly. It's either super hot or super cold in New York City. There's really no in-between. Spring and fall have kind of stretched very thin. So I'm trying to take advantage of that beautiful weather as much as possible. So on Sundays, I usually edit the plan with me and Saturdays I film, although lately I've been editing at various times of the week. I try to do these voiceovers with for, for you guys when I'm in a good mood, because when you're not in a good mood, <laughs> they're not as fun to do. Um, let's see what else do I have. Oh, so I'm trying to systematically clean our apartment. The apartment that we're living in is interesting because we inherited it from Frank's grandparents. So there's a mixture of our stuff, their stuff, and other family stuff. So, um, but I'm just going ahead and reminding myself that I need to film and edit and ultimately just filling out that cleaning tracker there. It's the same every week, but there we go. We're getting to the end here, but if, if anyone has any questions about how I plan for the week, please leave them in the comments down below. I'm just filling in some last minute things like I need to mail packages for my mom that I've just been sitting in my kitchen this whole time but anyway it's been this is I love the way this week came out I love using eclectic stickers I think ultimately this came out exactly the way I wanted it to and I do encourage everyone to really think about the way planning works for you and what are the kinds of things you like to see in your planner that make you want to open it every single day? That's the goal, right? That's why I do this. It's not just for memory keeping. It's not just for aesthetics. It's so that I feel encouraged and inspired to jump into the day with a full head start. And hopefully a lot of these things that I've planned for will come to fruition. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how the week unfolds but all right so I'll come back to you in a normal steady voice <laughs> in just a moment okay so the light on this is um a little <laughs> crazy because the sun is high in the sky and going down but this is what I ended up with I think it looks really really great there's definitely a lot more writing on the page than I typically do in my planners but I think that actually makes sense and gives me a sense of how much text I can put in here if I didn't use so many stickers so really helpful to know so I'll just walk through this very very briefly I have my weekly sidebar I decided to do a tracker with a cleaning tracker and then I just put in some important things that I wanted to remember on Monday we have this very cute little picture of Vinny this picture was taken by my husband while Vinny was sitting on his chest it's it's kind of hard to see in this light but he's so cute he's such a good baby and then I've got 
a full day on Monday. I have a full day of clinicals, plus I'm doing laundry. I have to mail some packages. I have a class late at night, so lots going on. Then on Tuesday, I'm doing, uh, it's the first day of fall, so I put in some fun fall stickers there. I just wanted to um, mark meals and just some of the work that I'm doing. And I'm going to be doing my first solo treatment, which I'm very excited about. Wednesday, more clinicals, lots more work. I'm trying to, this will be like the true test of how much I can get done in a day with clinical placement. Um, because I really do have a lot of schoolwork that I have to do, and I put a lot of it on Wednesday because I don't have a class. So I gave myself kind of a break on these two days. The schoolwork portion is a lot lighter, and then it jumps to a full school day's worth of work. And then, of course, my husband's birthday. I have some school stuff I have to do, but I do have something going on in the evening and then Friday just more schoolwork I do have an exam but it's open book so I don't feel super panicked about it I'm supposed to go to Trader Joe's again and uh, this weekend we don't really have anything planned so if unless there's something specific my husband wants to do I've just kind of filled in what I want to do I'm in the process of getting ready to move, which is very exciting, so I'm trying to chip pieces of it away. I thought I would start by looking at the storage spaces to see what's really needed in there and what we can get rid of so that I can go ahead and make the best use of those storage spaces now. I'm trying really hard to stay connected with my cohort now that I'm working, and I think this is going to be a good week for me to try and stay in touch and be social. But other than that, I just want to enjoy the, the beautiful weather and have a great time. So I am going to show you Vinny very quickly. Here he is. He's very excited. Hi, Vinny. Vinny, you're beautiful. My planner is full of pictures of you. Yes. Yes, I love you. Oh, eye kisses. We call those eye kisses when he when he blinks his eyes. He's my favorite little buddy. Well, um, he didn't crawl on my planner, which is kind of shocking. I think he, he went to the vet today, so I think he's just a little tired. But anyway, here's the handheld cam. Thank you so much for watching, and tune in, tune in next week when I start planning for Halloween stuff. All right, take care. Bye-bye.